I received a word from the Lord on uh, Sunday, so yesterday, March 24th, 2024, at approximately 11.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the Lord wants this word titled, Idle Talk. Um, as with any message, go ahead and test the Spirit. You test the Spirit by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. Um, take it back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time and just ask him to confirm or deny if this word came from him or not. Um, and if it did, once you confirm that, just ask him um, how it pertains to you. Um, if this is something that you've been guilty of and what spirit was behind it, right? Because we all want to grow from glory to glory in this walk. This is what the Lord said. Who are you to look down on my anointed, my chosen, my remnants? Have I not warned you about such idle talk? Have I not warned you that you would be held accountable for the words you speak? Have you no discernment? Have you no fear of me in your heart that you would speak so carelessly? Who made you a judge? Who made you a ruler? Have I given you authority to slander my people? I assure you I haven't. Slander is not of me. I slander no one. I do, however, call out and rebuke sin wherever it is found. Put a guard on your mouths, a bit and bridle to keep yourselves from speaking against me. For when you speak against one of my own, it is me you are criticizing. It is me you are ridiculing. It is me you are laughing at. I am the one you are scoffing at. I am the one you are accusing. And since Satan is the accuser of the brethren, that is who you are speaking for when you say such things. You have let things like jealousy and envy seize your heart and overtake it. You have spoken carelessly, every one of you. Be forewarned, if you do not repent and do it quickly, you will be chastised severely. Do not take this word lightly. For I am a God of covenant. I keep my promises. I will not relent. I am faithful and just to forgive your sins when you confess them and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Bitter and sweet water should not flow from the same mouth. Your words should be seasoned with salt, gracious, even in a rebuke. And when they are not, you can be rest assured you are not speaking for me. Those who have made a habit of persecuting my anointed and falsely accusing them will soon come to find out why such things are not wise and are very costly. Humble yourselves and repent. I am the one you are falsely accusing, and I will not deal gently with such an accusation. I, the Lord, have spoken. These are the following confirmations the Lord gave me. I was in uh, NLT Study Bible. That's the New Living Transa Translation in Acts chapter 14. And the, lo the Lord brought me to this word uh, in Strong's Concordance. It's the word for worthless. It's called metaios. It means fruitless, empty, futile, frivolous, hollow, unreal unproductive, lacking substance, trifling, ineffectual, void of results, devoid of force, success or utility, and worthless. Um, the word idle in Greek also means worthless. He brought me to Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1. Look at my servant whom I strengthen. He is my chosen one who pleases me. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring justice to the nations. He also brought me to the end of verse 6 in Isaiah chapter 42. And you will be a light to guide the nations. You will open the eyes of the blind. You will free the captives from prison. Right after this, I heard the Lord say, this is who you speak against. Isaiah 33, the end of verse 8, just these words. They have no respect for anyone. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 10 but the Lord says now I will stand up now I will show my power and might 
And it was just those words. Matthew 26, 52, just these words. Put away your sword. Jesus told him, I heard the Lord say their words have become like daggers, which will pierce their own heart. Isaiah chapter 37, the end of verse 28 through the end of verse 29. I know the way you have raged against me and because of your raging against me and your arrogance, which I have heard from myself, I will put my hook in your nose and my bit in your mouth. Isaiah 61, 1, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. After this, I heard the Lord say, this is who they speak out against. I will not tolerate such idle talk. They must repent or my wrath will visit their houses. Ezekiel 17, 21, just these words, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it. He told me to go to the next page and brought me to Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 3, just these words, thus saith the Lord God, are ye come to inquire of me? This is in the um, New King James Version. Are ye come to inquire of me? Sorry, King James. As I live, saith the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. Verse 5, just these words, I am the Lord your God. The Lord said, come out of there and go to Mark, the first page you land on. I was led to Mark chapter 6, verse 1, just these words, this people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And then verse 9, and he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. Mark chapter 7, verses 15 to 16. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile a man, but the things that come out of him, those are they that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Mark chapter 7, verses 20 to 23, just these words. That which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from without, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile a man.